Okay, so now I'm ready to color my Among Us character. So when I color it, I want to keep in mind tints and shades. You can use a colored pencil or I'm using a crayon. So with the Among Us character, if you think about it, they have a light line that goes on the top and on their arm. So the top section is lighter. That's what's called a tint. So I'm going to press lighter with my crayon. You can do the same thing with your colored pencil or if you wanted to, you could also um, maybe try out, maybe the top section is color pencil on the bottom section is crayon. You would just have to figure out which one's darker. So down here, I'm gonna press harder. I'm working really hard to stay inside the lines because when I color this, it's either gonna make it look better or it's gonna make it look not as great. So I wanna try really hard to stay inside those lines. So for my fourth grade, fifth grade friends, this would be your learning target. Third grade friends, this would also be your target because you're working on different techniques so you can see the light and the dark. Um, on this guy, because I gave him clothes, I'm gonna do the same concept, but with his clothes. So what I mean by that is, this is where my Among Us line would basically fall. So this part, I will do dark. And I'm using a different color because I have two different Among Us characters. So I want to show that they're different characters in the game. So on this part, I'm gonna do dark purple as well. I'm gonna stop there because I think you can get the gist. Remember this is a drumstick because he's a drummer. On this part, I'm just gonna press lightly with my purple and that's going to give me a tint. So it's kind of tricky with the colors, but when you play the, when you look at the game, um, for the most part, the characters are basically the same color. They're just lighter and darker. So you can see there's my tint, there's my shade, there's my tint, there's my shade. Again, I have no weapons. Um, we're going to do the same thing on the eye. So this part will be white. I am going over with white because you can see it's just a little bit different in color. Um, and then this is going to be a tint. It's going to be light blue. So I'm pressing lightly with my blue. If I made a blue Among Us character, then I would probably switch to a different shade of blue. So that way you could see the difference. Like I would probably use this guy. Um, and then in the game, I believe this part is gray, but just to show the difference, I'm gonna go ahead and just press harder with the blue to again, get a second value. So when you are done, your character should be completely colored without any white spots. You should have tints, which is when you're pressing lighter, and shades when you're pressing darker. If you have time, something you could do as well is go back over your lines with say a black crayon and just make them darker so everything pops better. So I can just outline this stuff. And by doing that, it's just gonna make, oops, my crown broke, but I can still use it broken. It's just gonna make everything kind of pop by outlining it. So you can see how that's already standing out. All right, I can't wait to see yours completely colored.